You're watching WCSD Cable Television from Cowie County High School. Every day across America, police officers begin another day attempting to serve and protect the citizens like you and me. Our guest today is Officer Tim Fortner with the Murray Police Department. Hello, I'm Jordan Lax. Welcome to Callaway Connections. So, Mr. Fortner, what is your role with the Murray Police Department? My role with the Murray Police Department is uh, I'm actually the, the City of Murray's uh, Alcohol Beverage Control uh, administrator and basically my responsibilities include um, making sure that uh, all of the establishments in Murray abide by the uh, laws associated with alcohol and also uh, collecting, assisting in collecting the uh, quarterly revenues for the City of Murray. I'm also the code enforcement officer uh, with the City of Murray and my responsibilities include uh, everything from uh, making sure people mow their grass uh, all the way up to uh, condemning buildings that are a danger to others and affects people's safety. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the things that you see as problems that people sometimes are not doing that they should be doing um, as far as that goes? Well, uh, you know, it, I think, and I don't mean this in a derogatory term, but I think ignorance is a uh, is is very prevalent uh, with with everybody because people aren't uh, aren't familiar with the laws and the and the different ordinances with the city of Murray, and so therefore uh, you know that kind of runs into problems, especially when it comes to summertime, and people's grass gets too tall, and and the neighbors don't like seeing tall grass, and they're afraid of snakes and different things of that nature, and uh, then also uh, just the um, when people have several rental houses, like the owners uh, or landlords, when they have rental houses, sometimes they don't know that they have to keep them up to uh, specific code as to uh, uh, making sure that the, all the doors work and the windows, every, everything inside the residence. So the, the renters often complain about that, and that's part of our responsibilities. When I say our, uh, I work with the building uh, official also, and we go inspect houses and businesses. Um, so a lot of people would say being a police officer is a dangerous job. So what is it about that that um, makes it worth it to you, you know, um, because it's a big risk. So why is that a job you like to do? Well, Jordan, to be honest with you, uh, when I first started this job in, in 1993, um, I was Mr. Macho. and. And I was, I was, uh, I don't know if you're old enough to remember, I'm sure you are, but there was a, a old cowboy named John Wayne and he was in charge of everything. And that's who I thought I was when I started out and the power all involved in it. Um, but over the years, I've learned that, that it, I'm there to protect and serve as, as any police officer and, and all of the Murray Police Department's aware of. Um, that we're there to protect and serve and, and what I enjoy is being able to actually assist people um, and just come across with better communication with people. Um, how I learned that was, then this is kind of silly, but there's shows on television uh, like Cops and, and different uh, uh, shows like that and what I've been able to learn just picking up is just when you first meet somebody calling them friend, just the automatic friend and it kind of de-escalates a situation and so I've, I've taken little things like that and just whatever works for me and, and that's just worked out well where I can actually communicate with people and, and they feel uh, that the rapport is there and, and they can be more open with me. So I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned uh, uh, watching TV shows like Cops. Do you think those TV shows are an accurate representation of what an actual police, of what actually goes on in the life of a police officer? I think that uh, sometimes it is, um, but but the shows, um, in, in my opinion, are more of uh, uh, built for ratings. Obviously, they don't want to uh, just ride around with a police officer and just uh, run radar and and look for speeders all day. But they're they're looking for the 
the actual crimes that are out there, uh, the larger crimes where police officers are going to be more hands-on and different things, which in Murray, uh, our, we, we focus on being polite and also working with people, so we don't see a lot of that, what you see in the larger metropolitan areas. So, um, d did you say it was 1993 when you first became a police officer? So right. I, um, I first, that's when I graduated the academy in 1993. Yeah. So, in all of those years, I'm sure you've seen a lot of interesting things. What are some of the most interesting things you have seen? Um, well, interesting to me and to everybody else are obviously different things. Um, when I started the uh, when I started the police academy and, and actually got into police work, I started in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Um, and Hendersonville is the quote unquote bedroom community for Nashville. And what I mean by that, that's where a lot of the uh, a lot of the CEOs and the uh, sports figures and and uh, country and western and different wrestlers and things like that. That's where they live. And interesting to me was was just being able to interact with folks and seeing that they are. Uh, you know, such as uh, the Oak Ridge Boys or such as uh, um, Johnny Cash, just when, when they had situations that they want, they needed help with, that I was able to be there and be a part of that. And, and to me, that was interesting, uh, just knowing that, hey, yeah, they are somebody, but they're still human and they still have the same problems that you and I face. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to take a quick break here on Callaway Connections, and we will be right back. Hello, welcome back to Callaway Connections. I am here with Tim Fortner. So we have talked about your life as a police officer. What are some of the things that goes on in your life when you are not at your job? Um, well, obviously uh, um, I'm, I'm married and it's kind of coincidental that, that uh, my wife and I married the same year that I became a police officer. So she's almost lived this whole journey with me. I also have a daughter, so I, I spend most of my time with my family. Um, other than, you know, family life, uh, you know, I, I work, uh, volunteer work with different agencies that I can. Um, I uh, do mission work, uh, both locally and in uh, foreign countries, uh, specifically Guatemala. Um, locally, I have a, uh, uh, I work with a a group called uh, Mission Mobility. They're they're a national association, but our job is to uh, just collect wheelchairs, canes, walkers, things of that nature, and then we have a storage trailer that we store everything in until we get enough, and we ship it to Guatemala, where we will go later and and help distribute that to the people there. Um, I'm also a polygraph examiner, in which. Uh, I, I do that with my job uh, with the police department. I uh, administer tests to criminals and then I also administer tests to people with relationship issues, unfortunately. Uh, and then I also uh, go to different fishing tournaments and uh, there's an old saying of you never believe some uh, fishermen because they're always going to talk about how big that fish was that they, that they caught. Um, but I think most insurance companies now require different uh, Things like Crop USA and and uh, King Cat and different different organizations to uh, offer polygraphs because if you think about it, there are a lot of large prizes. So they give away boats and different things, and so they just want to make sure everybody is uh, being honest about their catching those fish before they get those large prizes. 
And um, you were talking about uh, mission work, and I think we've got some pictures of you doing some mission work. Okay. So uh, the, the picture that is up now is actually um, with uh, a couple of local uh, fellows. They, are, uh, they work with Murray State, and uh, we were outside of a, a little village in Guatemala. The day before we arrived, there was a large flood and it, uh, it came at night and wiped out an entire uh, little area of the city. People lost their children. They never got to see them again, and they lost everything. So we were preparing to uh, give out clothes and different necessities that, that they needed there. Um, and so that was actually uh, what I worked with that particular trip, which I go every two years. Uh, I try to rotate to where I have a uh, family time and then the mission trip. This, uh, this particular picture is uh, of me with a couple of students from the uh, Murray Tiger Band. Um, I, since my daughter's in the band, I also uh, try to volunteer as much as possible to give back uh, to the community in that way. I'm the uh, band booster president for the Murray Tiger Band, and uh, fortunately I'll be uh, giving that position up at the end of this year because my term will be up and, and I can move on to something different in, in uh, volunteering and so I enjoy working with that. And the gentleman here, um, he lost his wife. He's actually in Guatemala, and he lost his wife, and he and his uh, daughter, uh, who I believe was in probably middle school age, were living in a, just under some trees with uh, whatever kind of trash that they could find to make a bed out of. And when I went to uh, Guatemala on this mission trip, and I believe my daughter went with me, uh, we were actually fortunate enough to assist this gentleman by, by building a what, what is a house to him. Here it's a lawn, lawn shed, but uh, we assisted in building a, a house for him so he would have a, a stable uh, roof over his head. And, and then we also gave him some food and clothes, but uh, more importantly, we were able to share our faith with him, which is sharing him that what Jesus does in our lives, and he was there to help them too. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you, Officer Fortner, here with us today. We'll see you next time on Callaway Connections. Thank you for having me.